What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell, for today's video, I have not one, not two, but three Harry Potter boxes to unbox for you guys. I have my first ever box from Bibbidi Boxes, Bibbidi Boppity Boxes. That's a tongue tire. And it is the Wizard's Vault. I also have my box from the Wizarding Trunk with their new box design and my box from Cauldron Crate. So yes, a lot of magic for today's video. And all of these boxes actually came at like the same day. So I did an Instagram poll asking if you guys wanted to see me unbox all three in one video, kind of like a massive Harry Potter unboxing. I think like 96 or 97% said yes. So I decided to just go ahead and unbox all of these together. But I do wanna let you guys know upfront that I am a rep for the Wizarding Trunk and Cauldron Crate. My rep code will be in the description down below with their website. But as always, all opinions are my own. Even if I'm a rep or not a rep, I always try to be upfront and honest with you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these boxes. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and open my box from Bibbidi Boxity. Bibbidi Boppity Boxes. Jeez Louise, that is hard to say. But yeah, I love the box that this came in. It has a bunch of different Harry Potter designs all through it. So many of you guys have recommended this box to me for quite a while now. But to be honest, I have been very hesitant to buy this box. It is very expensive. They do have two different options. This is the more expensive box. It's like $89 base pay plus shipping. And this is a monthly subscription box. So $92 a month. That is a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I did only get this one box to try it out to see what I thought. But yeah, let's go ahead and do a sneak peek. Okay, so right on top we have some tissue paper with Wizard's Vault sticker. And then this is what we see. So we have a little note here. It says, a quick note about your box. This box has fewer items of higher value as opposed to more items of lesser value. We hope you love it. To change this option, please update your preference manager account. That is another cool thing about this box. You have a preference manager where you kind of say what you like, what you don't like, which like for me, I don't really like plushy toys or stuff like that. Then we have another little card that says, working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more, believing in yourself. Harry Potter with Harry Potter's wand. And on the back, it says, your box was curated by Reagan. Well, thank you, Reagan. And then we have the Aloha More. I think this is like the slip that has all the pricing of the items we got in the box. Ooh, okay, right on top, I'm assuming this is jewelry. It says Lillian and Co. It is a necklace that says Mischief Managed. That is really pretty. Let's see how long it is. Cause that's the true test for me. Oh, good Lord. It does have a little extension set. Yeah, I prefer longer jewelry just because I do have a little bit of a, <laughs> a neck, so I like to have some space, I guess. Okay, so it isn't the longest chain, but I actually like this length. It's This is as long as it goes though. But that being said, I actually really like this. That is, oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna wear this the rest of the video, so. <laughs> and next, and last, we have, I do believe, a purse, which is one thing I did say in the notes that I really wanted to get a new Harry Potter purse. So they did listen to that. I'm very glad. So this is the purse. It has H. Potter with a Gryffindor crest. And on the back, it kind of has a tie design with a Harry Potter lightning keychain attached. And it did come with this, so it can be a cross body bag, which is what I really wanted. To be honest, I don't think I would really have picked this purse out myself. I don't really like the tie shirt design on the back. Like I prefer the front a lot more than the back. I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll probably end up using it. It's just honestly not my favorite. Um, I definitely think I like the necklace more than the purse. But yeah, that was it. That was the entire box. Um, let's take a look at the Aloha Mora slip. The suit and tie Harry Potter purse was $68. And then the Harry Potter mischief managed necklace was $34. So a total of $102. So I barely made even with this box. 
barely. <laughs> so yeah, this really wasn't my favorite box um, and really kind of doesn't seem worth it, to be honest. I mean, you do get the value. So I mean, I'm not saying the value isn't there, but I mean, if you're gonna buy licensed merchandise, you might as well just go pick it out yourself to make sure you really get what you want instead of having that chance that you might not love everything. Cause I mean, this was $70 almost. I could have went and bought a different Harry Potter purse that I liked more. So maybe I'm just not getting this box. Cause I mean, it really is just like they pick random merchandise and put it in here. There isn't a theme. So yeah, I probably will not be getting another box from Bibbidi Boppity. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of this box? Do you think it's worth it? Have you ever tried it? Do you love it? Just let me know. But let's go ahead and unbox the Wizarding Trunk. And it is not Truck. They did not change their name. It is Wizarding Trunk. This was a misprint, which has already been addressed and will be fixed by the time we get the next box. Wizarding Trunk has some very special things coming up, and they wanted to differentiate between their bi-monthly subscription boxes with other boxes coming out. So this will be known as the Owlery. And this is the start of their Magical Lessons series. And I think the Magical Lessons that this box is themed off is Herbology and Ancient Runes. And we will be getting our first ever book cover from Danny, which you will only be able to get if you are subscribed to these bi-monthly boxes. So guys, again, follow Wizarding Trunk on Instagram. They always update when they have new subscriptions available. But yeah, let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, okay, so right on top, we have Runestone Translation Information Sheet. And on the back, as always, is spoilers. Very cool. Again, I always love how they add a little extra something to their spoiler card. Move some wormies. Ooh, and we got a t-shirt. Yes, I love t-shirts. And it is a Herbology t-shirt with different magical plants on there. Very cute. I do kind of wish there was more magical plants on here that kind of went down a little bit more. It is kind of a plain design for a t-shirt. Again, that might just be me because I love shirts that are like blatantly Harry Potter. Um, so <laughs> but yeah, still very cute. Definitely feels like a very good quality t-shirt, very soft. So great start to the box. And next, I already saw this and I love it. It's so with the times, if you know what I mean. It is a Herbology face mask. <laughs> that is so freaking cute and usable, a very usable item. So let me try it on. Oh, this is very comfortable. And I don't know what material this is. It almost feels like silk. That is just so freaking cute. We have some very cute magical plants. Oh, and the earmuffs to protect us. I absolutely love this. Thank you, The Wizarding Trunk, for not only giving us a Harry Potter item, but giving us a cute Harry Potter item that will help protect us and help us protect others. That is just like a perfect item for today's world. And I love it. Love it. And next, sticking to Herbology, we have our own set of pink earmuffs. Professor Sprout would be very jealous. As most of you guys know, pink is my favorite color, so yes, I will be wearing these all winter. <laughs> Sad to say though, they're not very good at counseling out sound because I can hear myself. So I don't think this would hold up very well against a mandrake, but it's very cute. <laughs> And next we have a little container that says Minimus Tentactula Seedings, the Caffeinated Wizard Co. Caution Bite Venomous 1984. It is coffee, like actual coffee beans. Oh, this takes me back to my barista days. Oh, God, I wish I had like a coffee grinder. Oh. Next we have a little jar that says Shriveled Fig. The leaves of this plant have medicine properties and are very useful in potion making. So another herbology item, but can be used for potions. That is very cute. I'll definitely put it on my potion shelf. And next we have a, another potion that says stink sap, a magical liquid found inside some plants or trees. Stink sap can be used to nurse ill creatures. Caution, very foul odor. Uh, so yeah, just a greenish kind of 
liquid in there. Very cool. You guys know I love when we get potions. I will say though, I have kind of become a little, a little bougie, I guess, if that's the right word. When it comes to potions, I kind of prefer like bigger potions with the wax and the extra little details. All of these potions from Grim Sweetness have kind of spoiled me a little bit when it comes to potions now. Um, so again, I do love when we get potions in boxes, but I do kind of wish they were a little more, more, if that makes sense. And next, oh, I think we have our first Ancient Runes item. It is Ihwa's Defensive Spray Hand Sanitizer. Oh, that is so cool. The rune Ihwa's represents strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, enlightenment, endurance, defense, and protection. Ihwa's, not to be confused with Ihwa's. Okay, I'm done. I promise. This all-natural spray hand sanitizer is brought to you by Alchemy for the Skin. Again, I love that we always get something from Alchemy for the Skin. And it does have ingredients on there, which I always appreciate. Oh, and it really is a spray. <laughs> Ooh, and it actually smells good. Oils of lavender and sage. This will be going directly into my purse. The price of hand sanitizer in the USA, I don't know how it is everywhere else in the world, but it's ridiculous. They're charging like $10 for like this. What? Can't I say what? Uh, so yeah, perfect. Next we have an enamel pen. It is a herbology pen and it is greenhouse number three, which is the greenhouse they went into for book three when dealing with the mandrakes. The really cool thing about this pen though is it has a little flap. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Door probably better. That opens up to the greenhouse with different plants in there. That is so freaking cool. You guys know I love enamel pens, but I absolutely love enamel pens that like have a little moving part to them. Just that little extra character detail makes, uh, that, that, it just makes it so much cooler. Next we have a necklace and it's a necklace with an actual rune on there. I have no idea what that translates to, but thankfully the wizarding trunk included a translation sheet. So the arrow up means Tiwaz, justice, leadership, and authority. Oh, I love that this means justice. Another kind of perfect item for the world right now. Not that anybody would really know what this actually translated to or meant, but we would know and that makes all the difference. So I love this. The perfect rune to put on a necklace. And I do love that this necklace is a little bit longer. Uh, I know I kind of look dorky wearing both, but you know what? I kind of like it. Next, we have a bag of stones with different runes on them. What? Hold on. Bag of rune stones. Use the spoiler sheet to decipher what lies in your future. So I'm assuming you kind of mix them in your hand and you drop them down. Well, two of them landed on the blank side. This one kind of has a Z shape, which translates into Hogalaz, which means change, loss, destruction. I don't like that one. And then we have this one, which means water renewal flow. Okay, so I'll have a little change destruction, but then I'll have renewal and flow. And then this one, which is Dagaz, which means dawn day awareness. Well, at least I'm aware of the change and loss and renewal that's coming, so perfect. <laughs> And next we have our new book cover from Danny. I've been so excited for this. They're not words. Let's see what we got. Ooh. <gasps> Gold foiling. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that is so pretty. So this is Runes of the Ancient World. Oh my God, I love it. I honestly need to buy a whole new set of books because these only fit the US edition of Harry Potter hardback books. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a whole nother set just so I can display these. Oh, that is 
so pretty. I cannot wait to get all seven. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And last but not least, we have an art print. I do believe this is from JP Mistlecrow again. Um, it just kind of looks like his style. And it is the Mandrake, very pretty. I do kind of wish it had a little more color maybe, um, but I do love Mandrakes. I do think I'm actually gonna be moving my Mandrake, which my mom actually hates. She hates this. Uh, she's like, you need to move that ugly little guy beside you. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely think I'm going to be moving some of this. So I might end up putting my mandrakes together somewhere else on my wall. So yeah, very cool. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. Number one was the Runes of Ancient World book cover, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. This book cover was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. There will be an exclusive lesson themed textbook cover in each of the lesson boxes that will cover the first edition American hardback books. Be sure to subscribe and collect the entire set. Number two was the Venomous Tentac Tentantula Seedlings. This coffee and tea... It has tea in it. What? This coffee and tea blend includes black tea, whole coffee, chicory, and milk chocolate chips. Not a fan of coffee or tea? Display these seedlings on your herbology shelves. Number three was the fuzzy pink earmuffs. Don't forget to mind your earmuffs, students. Number four was the greenhouse three pin, another wizarding trunk exclusive. Um, number five was Inside the Greenhouse. This watercolor print was created by J.P. Mistlecrow, another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. The Bag of Rune Stones. The Tiwas Rune Necklace. This charm represents justice, leadership, and authority. Another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number eight, the Shriveled Fig Ingredient, which was bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Nine, the Herbology Shirt, which was a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number 10, the Cloth Face Mask, another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. This cloth face mask will be great to wear while working in the garden or these days while taking a quick trip out of the house. Number 11 was the Ihwas and Hand Sanitizer. And last was number 12, the Vial of Stink Sap, which was also bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. So yeah, 12 items overall. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Obviously for me, the book cover was my favorite item. The gold foiling just speaks to my Niffler side, but I also really loved the face mask and the hand sanitizer just because those are very, very useful items that I know I will be using almost every day. Least favorite, I think would actually have to be the potion. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. Again, just not my favorite. But as always, such an amazing box from the Wizarding Trunk. People always ask me what Harry Potter boxes I recommend. And I always say the Wizarding Trunk and Cauldron Great. And I said that even before I was a rep for them. Just because I love the quality, the detail, the theme, just everything about these boxes is just amazing. And last but certainly not least, I have my box from Cauldron Crate, which is very freaking heavy. I've been so excited for this box. There are not words. And this box is actually based off year six, the Half-Blood Prince. And this is actually the premium box. Cauldron Crate has added a new option where you can choose between just their regular box or a premium box, which does cost a little bit more, but it does have extra goodies in there. So I think this box will have four extra items that the regular box does not have. So let's do a sneak peek. As always, I get red because I am a Gryffindor. God, this is heavy. Another sneak peek. And on top, as always, is a spoiler card. We will save that for last. And right on top, we have another t-shirt. Okay, let me show you guys first. Ooh, that is so pretty. After all, to the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Albus, Percival, Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore, 1881 to 1997 and then we have the elder wand at the bottom it even has his glasses on here and it has his little hat with some floating candles oh I love the design of this shirt that is so freaking pretty again this might be a little too blatantly Harry Potter for some people but for me it is perfection I absolutely love it <laughs> and next we have a green little bag with cauldron crate on there Oh my gosh, it is, oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, words, Tabitha. It is a replica of the crystal kind of goblet that Dumbledore used in the cave to drink the potion so he could get to the necklace. I'm almost a thousand percent sure that this is from Shayna at Shayna Creates on Instagram because she did an exclusive item for this box. I might be completely wrong, but this just seems like her work, which is always freaking amazing. That is just gorgeous. I cannot get over how gorgeous this is. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I have to move on. I have to move on. And next, oh, I totally forgot about this. Yes, we have some coffee. Guys, y'all, my coffee addiction, y'all are just feeding into it and I love it. Um, but this is from Fable Grounds Coffee, chocolate raspberry flavored coffee. And of course it's based off the most powerful love potion in the world, chocolate raspberry. I've never had that flavor, but I have had coffee from Fable Grounds Coffee before. And the one I got was amazing. So freaking good. So I cannot wait to try this. Again, I'll probably have to end up hiding it from my husband because he will not stop drinking my coffee. And next we have another green package. Kind of feels like a candle. And it is a candle. Lucky Pumpkin Juice Pumpkin Spice Scented 100% Soy Wax Candle with a hint of luck. This kind of gets me in the mood for October already. Yes, it is my favorite month. Uh, so let's give it a smell. That is so pretty. It actually has a little pumpkin in there with some sparkles. It definitely smells like pumpkin spice. Everything nice. Oh, I'm so ready for October. And next we have an enamel pin of the locket with the note attached to it that Sirius's brother wrote. Such a cool enamel pin, such a big moment in book six. Oh, that is so cool. I think this might be one of my new favorite Harry Potter enamel pins. No lie. Next, we have a really big package with a note that says, Dearest Dumbledore, I do hope that this is still your favorite tipple. Merry Christmas, my dear friend, Horace. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? Cause I mean, we all know Professor Slughorn never actually got around to giving it to Dumbledore. It is, it is a replica of the poisoned oak mead that Ron ended up drinking. Oh, it even has the label from Madame Rose Murtis, which is where he got it in the book. Finest oak matured mead. And it even has the three broomsticks down here and a wax seal that says the three broomsticks. This one actually has the liquid in there. Like it's the actual poisoned oak mead. Oh, and you can actually take the top off. Don't drink this guys, it's poisoned, remember? That actually smells really good for a poisoned drink. <laughs> Cauldron Crate, you are killing me. Wow. Next, we have a little pink pouch, and it is a bookmark with a little mini love potion bottle on there with pink beads. That is so cute, and I love these type of bookmarks. They are so much fun to use. And we have another little package. Again, I've said this before, I love the way she packages stuff. It's so authentic looking. Just makes you feel like you got it truly from the Wizarding World. It is Puking Pastels, the Skyving Snack Box Collection. I love that. I kind of wish I was still in school. Okay, I take that back 1000%. And it does open and actually has little treats in here. Again, I don't know if this is actually edible. Hold on, let me just check. It says, I hope you enjoy this handmade replica sweet jar containing edible puking pastels. Extra sweets have been provided in case you would like to keep the, it intact to display. So they did give us little extra ones in the boxes. So if we wanna eat some, we can. I know a lot of people are mixed about getting edible items in the boxes, but if you're gonna do edible items for a Harry Potter box, this is the perfect way to do it because even if you don't wanna eat it, again, you can display this on your bookshelf like you actually got it from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Next, we have a, another brown package. Oh, okay, now this is hilarious. It is a coaster, I do believe, 
and it has a little heart on there with the initials R and L so we can ever remember the romance that was not meant to be between Ron and Lavender. Oh, that is hilarious. That is, that's hilarious. Now, we're not actually a coaster family, so I will definitely be displaying this on my bookshelf. And next, it looks like we have some magnetic bookmarks, and it is a Cauldron Crate exclusive. So, I might be completely wrong on who I think this is, but I think this is Lord Voldemort's dad, Tom Riddle. And then, I think this is his mom, um, Marope, Merope, Marope, Mer. Oh, I'm blanking on her name. My Harry Potter knowledge is failing me. Um, no, it's Marope. It, why did that sound weird, Marope? Alexa, who is Lord Voldemort's mother? Lord Voldemort's mother is Merope Gaunt. Merope, <laughs> saying it wrong. And then her father, Marvelo Gaunt. Um, again, I might be completely wrong, but I think that's who they are. We'll find out at the end. But as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I absolutely love magnetic bookmarks. They are my favorite type of bookmarks to use, but I love that Cauldron Crate represented the Gaunt family and seeing the memory because that was taken out of the movies, which makes no sense to me. The whole point of book six was exploring these memories and they only showed like what, two memories the entire movie? They totally left out. Anyway, okay sidetracked sorry so yeah i love that the cauldron great represented them in this box and next we have another package Ooh, way to spoil us it is another enamel pin and it is peruvian instant darkness powder and it even has a note on here that says look instant darkness powder we're importing it from peru handy if you want to make a quick escape I love that it kind of has the little tag included on there, kind of like we just got it from Weasley Wizard Weezes. So again, such a cool little nod to Fred and George. That is awesome. And next we have an envelope with Cauldron Crate on there. Oh, and we got little bonus items. So, wow, it says, as an apology for the delay and to spread a little happiness in these dark times, I have included these extra two items in this chest themed after the Half-Blood Prince himself. Enjoy. So we have two art prints. The first one is, you dare use my own spells against me, Potter. It was I who invented them. I am the Half-Blood Prince. And that, folks, is why I'm not an actress. But yeah, that is so freaking pretty. I love that we have all the potions down here. And then we have another one and it is of Snape himself. And then you can kind of see other students in the background. Very cool art prints. Oh, one day I really hope to have enough Snape items that I can have my own Snape shelf. Because you guys know, as I say several times, I love to hate Severus Snape. And next we have a green envelope with my name on there. And then it has a wax seal with an S on there. So I'm kind of feeling like this is a Professor Slughorn item. Might be wrong. And it is, it is a Professor Slughorn item and it is personalized. Tabitha Langley, in light of your promising achievements, I have extended you an invitation to join my select group of students known as the Slug Club. I would be delighted if you would join me for a bite of lunch in my carriage. This is a truly exclusive opportunity and I do hope to see you there. Sincerely, Professor Slughorn. <gasps> the gold foiling, y'all. Oh my God. That is so pretty. I actually have a shelf. Let me raise the camera up just a touch right up there. That's with all of my um, invitations. So I will definitely be adding this one to that shelf. And the fact that it's personalized is just, it's just everything. That's another great thing about Cauldron Crate. We have always gotten something personalized from them. And next we have another envelope, but this is to Miss Hermione Granger, the Burrow Confidential. And on the back, it has the Ministry of Magic logo. It is a replica of her OWL results. Oh, Ordinary Wizard 
Budgeting Level Examination Results. Outstanding, of course, in everything but Defense Against the Dark Arts, which how you have been through so much with Harry. How at this point have you not mastered Defense Against the Dark Arts? I will never understand that. And we even have a Ministry of Magic wax seal down here. I actually have Ron's OWL results already, so I love that I now have Hermione's. And this is on like some really good quality paper cardstock whatever it's called like this is legit guys oh that is awesome such a cool replica and next we have our sticker set as always we got a sticker for the department of magical law enforcement war division a sticker of felix felicis harry potter the slytherin locket then harry potter's name then we have a sticker of severus snape very cool. Again, I know stickers aren't everybody's favorite item, but I personally love them. I collect Harry Potter stickers, so I do love getting to add some every two months to my collection. And last but not least, we have a house specific item. It is a banner and I of course got Gryffindor with the lion that says bravery. I actually don't even have a Gryffindor banner yet. So I absolutely love this. We'll definitely be hanging this somewhere on my wall. But I think because I'm a rep for them right now, I actually got house banners for every single house. So this was the Hufflepuff banner with the badger and loyalty. And then of course the Ravenclaw with the eagle and wisdom on there very pretty and last the slytherin banner with ambition on there but wow yes that was everything from cauldron crate let's take a quick look at the spoiler card it says all products are vegan and cruelty free i also aim to use as little plastic in my packaging as possible all products are exclusive handmade and designed by leanne at cauldron crate unless otherwise stated um number one was the poisoned mean liquid so what? This is soap. No. A fun, usable item inspired by the infamous poisoned oak matured mead that Slughorn intended to give Dumbledore for Christmas. I hope you enjoy this licorice and cherry scented liquid soap. You can display the bottle after you are done. When left to settle, the oil separates, giving a beer mead like appearance. This is intentional. Please mix before use. And it even has ingredients on here. No wonder it smells so good. I actually love how it looks with the soap in there. So I probably won't actually end up using it. But the fact that she made it a usable item as well as a displayable item. Genius. Genius, Leanne. Genius. Number two was the Owl Results replica handmade by Cauldron Crate. Number three was the Book Six sticker set handmade by Cauldron Crate. The Personalized Slughorn Invitation, handmade by Cauldron Crate. Number five, the Puking Pastels replica, which was handmade by Cauldron Crate. The House Pin Banners. Oh, they're pin banners. Oh, I thought they were just banners. I'm so happy to share with you this gorgeous house-themed pin banner. This stunning artwork was created exclusively for Cauldron Crate by Alina Liu. That makes it even more amazing. I'll definitely be putting enamel pins on this. Um, then number seven was the Love Potion Coffee from Fable Crowns Coffee. The owner of Fable Grounds Coffee is also the owner and creator of Myth and Sips, the tea and coffee subscription boxes I unboxed recently. So yeah, her coffee is always amazing. Um, number eight, the Peruvian pen designed by Cauldron Crate. Number nine, the mini potion bookmark handmade by Cauldron Crate. Number 10, lucky pumpkin juice candle made by Cauldron Crate. Number 11, the Ron and Lavender coaster ornament handmade by Cauldron Crate. And then on the back, it shows the four items that were only in the premium boxes, which was number 12, the crystal goblet jewelry dish, which was by Shayna Creates. The magnetic bookmarks, which was of Tom Riddle, Marope, and Marvelo Gaunt. And then 14, the Headmaster Tribute t-shirt, love it, designed by Azura Arts. And then 15, the Salazar Locket and Regulus Letter Horcrux Enamel Pin. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this box literally blew my mind. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. My favorite items, hands down, has to be the matured oak mead and the crystal jewelry dish. Just gorgeous, gorgeous replicas. Like, perfection, perfection, guys. Um, but I mean, least favorite, I guess if I was to have to pick one, it would be the candle. Even though I do love the design and smell of it, candles just again aren't my favorite item to get anymore. Um, but this box, y'all, just blew me away. I cannot wait to see what she comes up with for book seven. Uh, but as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. What did you guys think of these boxes? Which one was your favorite? What was your favorite item? And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Could have been bad. Bippity boppity. It is full of lice. It is full of. It is full of. Hmm. But yeah, only two items in this box. That's kind of sad. <laughs> buck, buck, buck. More bang for your buck. My, um, violet. Fucking hell. He's a try. Oh, yeah. My head's not that big. Go back down. My green thumb is non-existent. I kill everything. <laughs> oh, this coffee. I just spit that everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. It is in a herbolic. It is cord. <laughs> chain or is that an n wow i would have failed this class <laughs> what i did not <gasps> Ooh, they do have you saw nothing Ooh, ooh! don't do it there's tea on there the T-shirt and scrubs. That's that's my wardrobe, guys. That is so. Oh my god, my hands are shaking. Okay, stop. I've never had a pumpkin spice latte. No, 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 no. So freaking much. Oh my holy rabies, y'all. Y'all, calm down, Tabby. Calm down. The smell. Why is this pouch giving me PTSD of umbrage? Oh, it's hard. Ooh, it's good, but it's hard. You can't just chew it. This was the Huffle Mead. I really, I'd love that it did. Uh, I